Hello dear learner. I, Ms. Vopnali Satish Farande from Delonic Societies, Baramati College of Pharmacy, Baranpur, Baramati. Today, I am going to present new topic, History of Microbiology from the subject Pharmaceutical Microbiology. Content of this topic is History of Microbiology. After the completion of this topic, students should be able to memorize the history of microbiology, explain the history of microbiology. History of Microbiology The scientist Antony van Leeuwenhoek, the microscopist from 1632 to 1723. He was the first person who described microorganisms accurately. He is also known as father of bacteriology and protozoology. This scientist constructed a simple microscope composed of double convex glass lenses held between two silver plates. His microscope could magnify objects about 200 to 300 times. In 1673, he observed and described bacteria, protozoa as animalcules. Then the spontaneous generation theory and theory of biogenesis. In that first spontaneous generation theory, the scientist Aristotle from 384 to 322 before Christ. This scientist proposed that animals might originated from soil, plants or other unlike animals. His influence was strongly felt even in the 17th century. Then the another scientist Francesco Redi from 1626 to 1697. He proposed the theory of biogenesis. In 1668, he showed that maggots would not arise from decaying meat when it was covered with gods. After that, the scientist John Needham from 1713 to 1781. He was the supporter of spontaneous generation theory. In 1749, he concluded that bacteria originated from raw meat itself. After that, the theory of biogenesis. The scientist Lazarus Palanzani from 1729 to 1799. This scientist boiled beef broth for one hour and subsequently sealed the flask tightly. Then he observed no appearance of microorganisms and disproved the theory of spontaneous generation and proposed the theory of biogenesis. He said that every form of life takes its origin from their parents germ cells or seeds. This theory of biogenesis was later supported and proved by scientist Louis Pasteur. Then the scientist Franz Schools from 1815 to 1873 and the another scientist Theodore Squan from 1810 to 1882. These two scientists supported the findings of Spallanzani by allowing air to pass through strong acid solutions into the boiled infusions and by passing air into the flask via red hot tubes. Then the another scientist, Schroeder and T. Von Dutch. 
these two scientists carried out more logical and convincing experimental design by passing air via cotton fibers so as to prevent bacterial growth then the scientist felix archimed pochet from 1800 to 1872 in 1859 This scientist proved growth without contamination from air. Then the scientist Louis Pasteur from 1822 to 1995. He is the father of microbiology. He discovered the process of fermentation and developed method of pasteurization. This scientist demonstrated that he could kill many microorganisms in wine by heating and rapidly cooling the wine a process called pasteurization He coined the term microbiology aerobic and anaerobic This scientist developed effective vaccines like rabies and anthrax vaccine The scientist Louis Pasteur performed experiment by trapping airborne organisms in cotton. He designed a flask having narrow gooseneck outlet. Thus, nutrient broth were duly heated in specially designed flask. Then, no growth of microorganisms observed because dust particles did not reach the medium. Instead, they were trapped in neck of the flask. If the neck were broken, dust would settle and the organisms would grow. In this way, Pasteur disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. Germ theory of disease. Louis Pasteur first filtered air through the cotton and found that objects resembling plant spores had been trapped. If the piece of cotton was placed in a sterile medium after air had been filtered through it, microbial growth appeared. Next, he placed nutrient solution in flask, heated their neck in flame. and drew them out into a variety of curves while keeping the neck open to the atmosphere then no growth of microorganisms observed because dust particles did not reach the medium instead they were trapped in the neck of the flask if the neck were broken dust would settle and the growth commenced immediately By this Pasteur proved that all life even microbes arose only from their like and by germ theory of disease the Pasteur disproved the theory of spontaneous generation germ theory of disease later on various other scientists supported and proved the aforesaid germ theory in one way or other as stated under the first scientist girolamo fracasto from 1483 to 1553 this scientist advocated that certain diseases might be caused by virtue of invisible organisms transmitted from one subject to another Then the another scientist Flensis in 1762 he stated that living microbes or agents are the ultimate cause of disease At the same time he stated that different germs were responsible for different ailments
then the next scientist oliver wendell holmes from 1809 to 1894 this scientist suggested that puerperal fever was highly contagious in nature besides it was perhaps caused by a germ carried eventually from one mother to another either by midwives or physicians then the another scientist agostino bassi from 1773 to 1856 this scientist first showed that microorganisms can cause disease in 1835 he demonstrated that the silkworm disease was due to a fungal infection He also suggested that many diseases were due to microbial infection. Then the scientist Louis Pasteur from 1822 to 1995. In 1865, he believed that another silkworm disease was caused by protozoa. Then the next scientist M J Berkeley in 1845 he proved that the great potato blight of Ireland was caused by a fungus. Then the scientist Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis in 1880 1865 he pioneered the uses of antiseptics specifically in the obstetrical practices then the scientist joseph lister in 1890 he introduced a concept of sterile surgical field he made known in england the importance of antiseptics he developed limiting dilution technique He is known as father of antiseptic techniques. Then the another scientist John Tyndall from 1820 to 1893. This scientist discovered highly resistant bacterial structure known as endospore. He conducted well planned experiments and proved that dust actually contained and carried microbes that means germs he demonstrated that the prolonged boiling or intermittent heating was necessary to kill the spores to make the infusion completely sterilized a process known as tyndallization Then the scientist Robert Koch from 1843 to 1910. He is also known as German bacteriologist or German physician. He was the first to cultivated anthrax bacteria outside the body using blood serum at body temperature. He published his findings in 1876 briefly describing the scientific method as follows In that the coach injected healthy mice with a material from deceased animals Then mice became ill and developed disease as well After that he repeated this process over 20 generations of mice then he incubated a piece of spleen containing the anthrax bacillus in beef serum then the bacilli grew reproduced and produced spores when the isolated bacilli or spores were were injected into mice anthrax developed
Robert Koch, during his studies on bacterial disease, he stated that it becomes necessary to isolate suspected bacterial pathogens. His criteria for proving the causal relationship between the microorganisms and a specific disease are known as Koch's postulates. Robert Koch's postulates. This scientist stated that a microorganism was accepted as the causative agent of infectious disease only when it satisfied all the following criteria. In that first criteria is the microorganisms must be present in every case of the disease but absent from healthy host. Then the second criteria is the suspected microorganisms must be isolated and grown or cultivated in pure culture in the laboratory. Then the third criteria is the pure culture shall be able to cause the same disease after inoculated into susceptible animal. And the fourth criteria is the same organism must be isolated again from the inoculated animal. Then the discovery of chemotherapeutic agents. What is meant by chemotherapy? Chemotherapy is nothing but the treatment with chemicals. And the chemotherapeutic agents. It is used to treat infectious disease can be synthetic drugs or antibiotics. The scientist Paul Ehrlich, father of chemotherapy. In 1930, he introduced Dr. Salverson for the treatment of syphilis. Discovery of Antibiotics what is meant by antibiotics? These are the chemicals produced by bacteria, fungi that inhibit or kill other microbes. The scientist Alexander Fleming In 1928 to 1929, he discovered the first antibiotic. This scientist observed that penicillium fungus made an antibiotic penicillin that killed yes aureus bacteria or other pathogenic bacteria. Then the another scientist yes a waxman in 1944 he discovered another antibiotic that is streptomycin. These are the some references for this topic. Thank you.